Hey guys, just wanted to update everybody on how my footing pour went uh, with this a bit of an unconventional pour on bedrock and the system I had used. Basically, the, uh, the system worked really good. Uh, nothing moved as far as I can tell at all. It was all pretty heavy duty anyways. Uh, a couple things that worked really well that were a little bit surprising is uh, I had kind of a bag footing made out of six mil poly and uh, I just used straps of scrap to screw it to the uh, sidewalls of the footing material and I screwed every about 18 inches and uh, that plastic is super tight, super tough rather, and um, everything just worked really well. It never um, blew out anywhere at all and uh, I probably could have went with less screws. That six mil poly is really tough. Um, and then just supporting everything with these large blocks worked extremely well. I screwed those to the uh, footing material and um, the two by sixes and that allowed them to be adjustable. So that came in super handy. On the longer runs, I uh, nailed, you know, just strap pieces together there. That was handy. That's easier to pull apart when it's nailed. But for the adjustable pieces, um, it's just so nice to have a screw in there. You can lift it up or down a quarter inch really easily. And yeah, basically the, the bag system worked really good. I know you can buy the fancy, the fancy bag systems. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well there, but, um, <coughs> there's more expensive systems, but this six mil poly is, works out really good. Uh, my accuracy on the pour was a little bit off. We had all kinds of trouble with the concrete truck and pretty much messed up everything, but that's nothing to do with the, uh, the footing um, uh, forming here. So um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to update everybody. It actually worked really well. I would highly encourage anybody who's pouring on rock to use the same s solution. Thanks, hopefully someone can use this and please like and subscribe.